If you're anything like me, you have a giant list of games in your Steam library because of Humble Bundles, a bad memory, uh, you, you, the Steam sales. There's so many reasons. We have so many games that we're just looking at. We're never going to play them, but we are. So I have so many games. Which one should I play first? Should I play this one? Is this one bad? Are these good? Which one should I not play? We're here to solve all of those problems. My name is Sol. Welcome to my backlog. Adventure Pals is the perfect example of why you should never judge a book or a video game by its cover. Every time I looked at this game in my library, I thought to myself, this game is so cutesy. It's called Adventure Pals. There's no way this game has anything for me. I was dead wrong. So the game starts out on your birthday, and your papa is going to give you a surprise, and you have to follow him to an undisclosed location. This is basically the tutorial section, and you have to fight off some jelly blobs and learn how certain mechanics in the game works as a whole. From the get-go, the game really reminded me of Super Meat Boy because of its controls, how fluid they are, and the fact that you can wall jump. The visual aesthetic of the game immediately appears to be in that new Cartoon Network style? Something like Adventure Time, Steven Universe, shows like that. The humor in this game is definitely more geared towards older folks? And it just proves my judging a book by its cover statement even further. When you get to the undisclosed location, your papa gives you a giraffe for your birthday? Kind of an odd choice, but what kid wouldn't want an exotic pet without a license to take care of and become best pals with? The giraffe lives in your backpack and sticks his neck out to watch over your every move. The game is getting ridiculous already, and I'm kind of loving it. Papa exclaims that his old pal, Mr. B, is coming to wish you a happy birthday as well. Seemingly harmless dude with a fishbowl on his head comes in riding a fake bee. Seems fine. He then tells your papa that he's happy to see him because he has a diabolical plan to turn old people into hot dogs? Why? Well, reasons! If you don't think too much into it, then everything will be fine. This is obviously our big bad guy. The game starts proper after you get hit with a bomb from our big bad, and you wake up and learn you were saved by a band of traveling musician foxes. Okay. The game keeps getting more and more ridiculous. You learn very quickly that this game is outlandish, and the writing and humor is going to be very... out there. All the dialogue in this game is actually worth reading, and the jokes, while juvenile at times, actually made me laugh out loud a couple times while I was playing for this. And that's not without merit. And here you have your core gameplay loop. The big bad, Mr. B, is holding your papa for ransom, and wants rubies in exchange for your papa. The game has an overworld section where you ride on your giraffe to go to pick the levels you want to play. Each level has five sections, and at the end of the fifth section is where you will find your ruby. Along the way, you'll be collecting cupcakes and stickers. The stickers go into a book of collectibles that you carry with you, and the cupcakes are used to unlock extra headwear and costumes for you and your adventure pals. Once you get five cupcakes, you can give them to this big cat named the Cupcake King to do so. I think this cat could stand to not eat so many cupcakes. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Internet police, I'm gonna have to stop the video right here. You're in clear violation of section 237 of the Meow Meow Code of the Internet. What does that mean? You fat shamed a cat. I what? I'm gonna have to ask you to apologize or we're gonna have to stop the video right here. The cat is fine. I'm sorry. All right, that's better. Wrap it up, boys! We got him! Anyway... Fighting your way through these levels feels so good. The combat is fluid and really easy to get the hang of. The animations are fun to watch and pretty much everything about the game from moment to moment keeps you engaged. I tried my best to go through and get every cupcake and sticker along the way. I would often backtrack just to make sure that I got them and it felt really rewarding to do so. The puzzles and obstacles were never overbearing or complicated, but there were some times I missed something and I was kind of salty that I did. When you defeat an enemy, they drop XP, and once your XP meter below your health bar fills up, well, you level up. You can then choose between three skills that will help you along the way. After hours of playing, I couldn't imagine going through some of the later sections without some of the skills I had acquired. Some of them just make the quality of life easier, and some of them can unlock new combat moves for your pals. Very helpful either way. And this game is just pure fun. It's not trying to beat you over the head with some complicated award-winning story or punish you with some unnecessary convoluted combat system a la Dark Souls. It's just fun. 
Just a colorful platformer with a simple goal and fun stages and quests to push you along to reaching that goal. It has side quests and boss fights, combat arenas and collectibles, and you never feel bored or that your time is being wasted. Sometimes it's good to go back to games like this. It's like a reset button from all the gritty realism and KD ratios we're all used to getting bogged down with at this point. If you're looking for a fun, colorful platformer to hit that reset or scratch an old school itch, you can go ahead and add Adventure Pals to your list. Once again, three episodes in, kind of becoming catchphrase, but it's definitely not what I expected. Adventure Pals was great. It really did remind me of old school platformers that just felt like home. I didn't cover too much of the game because there's definitely some story stuff that's happening later that I just didn't want to spoil or really get into. If you're interested in the game from what I've said today, definitely check it out. It's 15 bucks right now from the time of me making this video on Steam. Steam has sales all the time. If it looks interesting, but you don't want to pay full price, wait till then. Or of course, if you're like me and it was in your backlog and it's sitting in your library, download it. See how it treats you. I have a feeling you're not going to be disappointed. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.